This weird vintage device cooks up something surprisingly delicious. Today, I'm going to show you what it does. Hello and welcome to I Want to Cook. My name is Chef Matt and yes, this guy is making a repeat appearance. If you are a regular viewer of this channel, thank you. You might remember that this was actually the trivia answer from a few weeks ago. This is a nut brown sandwich toaster that I found at the thrift shop. Now, I could decipher that much because, well, it's written right on this device. Admittedly though, I still have a few questions about this thing. Now, I know it's made in England because again, it's written right on here and I know what it does. It toasts sandwiches, but I don't know much more. I've never heard of Nut Brown. So if you have, maybe you're watching this video from the UK and you know something about this company, let me know. Are, like, are they still in business? I couldn't find anything on them except some vintage like, you know, photos of this thing on the internet. But the good thing is it's not very complicated of what this thing does and it toasts sandwiches. What you do is you put bread and fillings in this device, you close the lid and what that does is it seals the sandwich and it also browns the bread and melts whatever's inside. It's kind of like well, this thing, this is another vintage sandwich maker that I found at the thrift shop. And this is an electric one. Basically, you do the same thing. You put the bread and fillings in, you close the lid, and it cooks the sandwich. The beauty about this is, well, you don't need an electrical outlet. You don't need a cord. So you can use this for camping. You can use this over an open fire. It's totally portable. And uh, today, we're going to light a fire in the kitchen on the range and we're gonna make a sandwich in this thing. They are delicious. Okay, so let's start assembling here. We're gonna make just a simple cheese and onion sandwich. And the way this works, well, at least the way that I found it to work, is you put your piece of bread here, and as you can see, it's bigger than the diameter of the uh, circle. So what you do is you just close that, and you can take the edges right off here. And we'll do the same with the other piece. So you get this get the circle of bread just like that. Close it just like this. And you might be thinking, well, what are you gonna do with these extra pieces of bread? Well, we always have a solution in this house. If you also find one of these at the thrift store, you can feel free to send any bread our way because Bronco will happily eat it. So then what I like to do is just butter the exterior of each piece of bread, just like this. This is gonna help with both browning and flavor. And then it is really simple. You just put each piece of bread in here. We're gonna add a little bit of cheese, just like this. You don't need much. I think these are also called pudgy pies, if my uh, internet sleuthing is correct. Let me know, have, is, is that correct? Are these things also called pudgy pies or toasties? That's kind of what I found from things on the internet. So anyways, we take our other piece of bread here, put it in just like this. We're gonna close this. Well, we're gonna try to close this. And then this has actually a little locking piece right on the end here so that it keeps this device closed. Now we are going to fire up our fire and make a sandwich. Okay, so I've got this thing set over a flame, just a low flame here, and I found that it only takes about three, three and a half minutes for this thing to cook, and really what this thing cooks up is pretty darn amazing in its both simplicity and its taste. So I'm just gonna let this go here. I flip it about every minute or so, and I cannot wait to show you what comes out of this thing. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, it's been about three, three and a half minutes. I'm gonna kill the heat here. And w this is just stainless steel, but what's cool is that with these wooden handles, uh, you don't even feel this getting hot. Obviously, these rods are really hot. This thing is screaming hot, but uh, this is really a clever design because, well, you don't even know it that this is hot because of these handles. Okay, we're gonna release this thing and I'll show you what we made. Okay, let's release this thing here. So we'll unclamp it, open this up. And what I found is sometimes you can just kind of loosen it here. And if that doesn't work, you can just kind of take a knife and try to pry this out. But do you see what this, do you see what this made? It made this lovely piping hot sandwich, just like this. Let this guy get it come out here. And here's what we have. We have this toasted sandwich. Isn't this thing cool? I mean, just look at this. And I think the idea was that because it seals it in, you know, it, it cooks the ingredients, you could, you know, save these for later, save them for lunch or something like that. But you get this cool little toasted sandwich that is gonna be absolutely delicious. Mm, so good. So simple. So there you go, that's how this vintage nut brown sandwich toaster works. And uh, I guess after you take a, a bite out of your pudgy pie or toasty, you can have a little Pac-Man here. <laughs> okay, trivia time. Last week I asked you to identify this strange device and several of you got it right. We had Thanatos, Lajeune, and One Pan Man 9852 all correctly identify this as a kiwi cutter slash kiwi tool. And the way this works is once you cut your kiwi in half, you just plunge it in, you turn it, and what it does is it both segments and separates the fruit from the skin. If you've ever, you know, kind of fussed with a kiwi fruit trying to get that skin off, this tool is a real asset if you like these as much as I do. Okay, for this week's trivia, who is gonna be the first to identify this thing, what this tool does? Boy, look at this thing. Is this some sort of like, ugh, I don't know. So if you know what this thing is, or if you have a guess, put it in the comments below. I will let you know the correct answer next week. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Until next time, happy cooking.